lots of us are trying to lose weight and uh, one of the main problems that we face is um, sugar cravings. We all have a problem, quite a few of us have a problem with um, wanting to have sugar and uh, we think this is a problem with willpower. It might be, but it's only part of the problem. Um, the other part of the problem is because you've got microbes in your gut that are used to your sugar consumption and every time your sugar consumption starts to drop, um, they send signals to your brain in the form of uh, 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 chemokines or uh, all sorts of chemical mediators in order to make you crave sugar. Uh, so that's, that's part of why you find it so difficult to... Um, difficult to lose uh, weight because of your sugar cravings now how do you how do you manage to get past it if if it's a, my, a microbiome problem if it's a bug in your stomach that's causing your problem um, you can do it with pure willpower obviously so you can you can just refuse to feed the uh, cravings and if you if you stick to your diet for maybe a month or a two two months uh, the population of these bugs start to drop and they s start to have less of an effect on your brain and less, less of an effect on your um, on your cravings and the way you think. So that's one way to do it. It's a tough way to do it. Lots of people do it too. So one of the most notorious uh, microbes that cause uh, sugar cravings is candida. Candida is a fungus and when you have a yeast overgrowth, it's called a yeast overgrowth, uh, some some people have had candida infections uh, in their mouth. Some people can get it as a UTI. Um, but there's very, you know, very few of us know that we do have a candida species that's living in our gut. And most of the time it doesn't create problems. But when it starts to overgrow, when it starts to increase in number, that's when it starts to create trouble. And you, that's called a small intestinal fungal overgrowth. So SIFO. C4 and uh, you can fix that you can fix that by reducing the amount of sugar you consume uh, the other way is to kill off these bacteria these fungi and uh, you can use that you can use antibiotics to do that antifungals to do that um, that's one way to do it then you can change your lifestyle you can change the food you eat so first of all reduce the amount of sugar you consume the second thing is use probiotics you can use probiotics that are antagonistic to uh, these fungi, to candida. And one of the easiest uh, probiotics to consume is uh, kombucha. Uh, kombucha is fermented tea. And the species of bacteria and fungi in kombucha have an antagonistic effect against um, these uh, candida species. So when you start consuming kombucha, um, you can kill off these uh, candida and uh, you can reduce your sugar cravings. So people who consume kombucha in the long term seem to be able to control their small intestinal fungal overgrowth. Now these fungi that grow in your intestine, um, they are large in number. So the candida is now overgrown and there is a lot of them in your intestine. And when you start consuming a probiotic or an antibiotic or an antifungal and you kill off these fungi, they do release toxins uh, due to their death and decomposition. And those toxins can have a reaction, a die-off reaction in your system. So you can feel down, you can feel, uh, you can feel uh, lethargic, you can, f uh, you can get gut disturbances. You can have uh, a histamine reaction, like you can have a, a sneezing and coughing and all of that. So, so there is a possibility of a die-off reaction. And there are people who have die-off reactions even without taking probiotics or antifungals. For example, you'll find people who are um, who need to have sugar frequently. If they don't have sugar frequently, they'll get a headache, they'll get migraine, they'll have low energy. That's not just because of a low blood sugar affecting their own nervous system. It's also the low blood sugar not able to sustain the high population of candida in their uh, intestine. And the candida starts to die off and it's also a die off reaction it's not just a hypoglycemic reaction so what do you do when when you consume probiotics and you have a die off reaction you have what you call a detox reaction some people call it a detox reaction 
it is not a detox reaction it's basically you're increasing the amount of toxins that are released into the system and that's not a bad thing you need to kill off these fungi and uh, the problem is the amount of toxins you release at the same time so you can do that instead of releasing it all at once you can do that by releasing it bit by bit so if you've got a uh, if if you're starting to consume a probiotic that is antifungal like kombucha you start off in small quantities you don't take a whole gulp of it so most of the commercial preparations that you get in kombucha they're good they do have probiotics but they come in a bottle and you need to consume the all of it in one shot so if you make kombucha at home or if you have a manufacturer that gives you a bottle that can be used over several days um if you consume it in uh, small quantities so you take 50 ml and uh, you have a die off reaction but it's not so bad um then you the next day you can consume 50 or if you didn't like the amount of uh, discomfort you went through then you can reduce the amount that you consume and the next day you can take 25 ml so you can adjust the dose of probiotic you take in order to adjust the severity of the die off reaction that you have and uh, so you can so it's and and you need to continue it for a few weeks because uh, if you kill off these fungi and then you stop taking the kombucha for some time or you talk stop taking the probiotics for some time the fungi grow back again and uh, once you get started on it it is good to stay on the probiotic for 3 to 5 3 to 6 weeks in order to bring down the population to manageable levels instead of taking it sporadically so a small dose on a daily basis is usually the best way to deal with a small intestinal fungal overgrowth if you have it or if you think you have it um now kombucha is not the only uh, probiotic that you can use but kombucha seems to be the most effective when it comes to controlling sugar cravings and the reason seems to be that it ca- kills off the fungal overgrowth so if you got any further questions you can ask me in the comments and then i'll uh, i'll try and post follow up videos i hope you like it and uh, we'll have more videos on uh, other probiotics that you can consume at home make at home if possible so thank you